Won't you see me, Dad? Yes, sit down. Yeah. Pascal, have you made up your mind to tell me what you did with $50,000 you stole from my room last month? And my two jeeps you sold just two days ago. Because what you told me earlier on, I don't believe it. Then, why are we still living in the past? What if I had said I didn't take the money, not sell the jeeps, you know? I, I told the truth, I owned up, so we should just let the matter rest. For once, Pascal, show some remorse for all the wrongs you've been doing. What has gotten into you since mom died? Have you forgotten the amount of money involved here? What you consider money is chicken change to dad. I had a little problem, I had to solve it. What's your problem? You're lying. I don't believe you. Don't believe him, dad. What happened is that he got himself involved with school cultists and hardened criminals. They attacked an innocent woman, raped and stabbed her. When the police came after them, he stole your money to sort himself out. That's what happened. You know, the last time I checked, I was not talking to you. And you didn't invite me here. So the sooner you shut your whole lady than down mouth, the better for us. Let dad handle this business, okay? I'm so ashamed I'm your twin brother. You have no remorse in you. Mom will really turn in her grave for everything you've been doing. I don't know what has gotten into you. God help you. That's right, you're excused. Take your holier than thou ass back inside. Bloody hypocrite. Pascal, what did you do with the proceeds of the Jeep you sold? Well, Dad, the point is that the police came back from her guys and had to sort things out, you know, close the case once and for all. Oh, you closed it once and for all? Again, didn't you? Well, we had a little complication. The girl we attacked, you know, she died of the stab wounds and um, the police reopened the case. So I had to sort them out, you know, end the case once and for all. So what you're telling me in effect as a father is that you're not only a rapist, but also a murderer. Whatever your reason for turning into such a monster since your mother died, I have had enough of you. And let me tell you, from now on, you cease to be a member of this family. What do you mean? Meaning that 10 minutes from now, if I see you inside this house, or see you anywhere around me, or near any of my business concerns, I will pay the police so heavily to get you and those your useless friends arrested and executed. And I mean it. disowning me you murderer the seconds are ticking away you have less than 10 minutes or with the first firing squad you know me too well to think of calling my bluff
What's going on? What do you mean you're traveling immediately and you're not coming back anytime soon? I'm so sorry, baby. Trust me, there's something I need to do. I love you and that's what I'm telling you. If not, trust me, I would have just gone off. Pascal, please, where are you going to? Babe, I can't tell you right now. It's, just, it's really it's really serious and, and I need to just take off. But um, I, I'll, I'll stay in touch somehow. Pascal, are you running away or something? What is going on? Please tell me now. Baby, I can't give you details. I, I just have to go, okay? I, I'll stay in touch somehow. Pascal, who are you leaving behind for? You know, I'm going to get my things. Wherever it is you're going to, Baby, I'm coming no, 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 with you. Wait, you can't come with me. Not where I'm going. Calm down. I'll stay in touch. I'll, I'll call you on the phone all the time. Okay? So that means I'll be joining you soon, right? Um, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Pascal, please. I love you. I love you too, baby. That's what I'm telling you. Let me, let me sort this out. I'll get back to you. Okay? Okay. Don't worry, okay? It's true that Pascal was running away, but when you saw him, but it's just I can't tell you what happened. He is my fiance, and if he deemed it necessary to leave the town without me, I demand to know the reason why. If he wanted you to know, he would have told you himself, no? You? Paul, did I ever mean anything to you? Did I ever mean anything to this family? You never accepted me, did you? I know this is a conspiracy no, against no, no, you guys. No, don't, 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 don't say that. Nothing is more further from the truth. The thing is that we love and accept you and we desired for you to be on Pascal's wife, but... But what? But what? With me, your fiancé is my friend. Imagine her being in my shoes. Would you, would you deny her the truth to happiness? Would you, would, you, would you rather her hear from someone else? Well, the turn of events, I, I just can't, I can't tell you, I'm sorry. Listen, Paul, if you do not tell me where Pascal is, I'm going to call a press conference and declare him missing. And I'll make sure I tell them that you and your father are responsible. Because it's not funny at all. Why would you tell me where he is? You're not going to do that. I will just watch him. Okay. Watch him. Wait, wait, wait. You have a minute, Dad. I need to talk to you. Sit down. Okay. About what? It's about um, Pascal. I don't want to talk about it. My decision on that matter is final. My dad is my twin brother, and you know, his fiance just left here devastated as I was. Paul! I do realize he's a twin brother. He's my son equally. I feel for Nonye. But it's unfortunate that chapter is closed. And don't you ever reopen it not in this house. Go back to your room. Dare you call my phone? You bloody rapist! You murderer! Nanya, what's wrong with you? 
Listen to me, Pascal. I'm from a poor home, which is absolutely fine with me. Okay? And I wanted nothing more than to just get married to you and be happy. Pascal, I love you. And I adore your family. But now I can't even stand the thought of spending another minute of my life with you. Nonya, what is wrong with you? Did you drink something? Nonya? Pascal, if I see you an inch close to me, I will make sure that you and this devil you call your friends, uh, you pay for this thing daily. I'm telling you, you guys are going to be hanged. Montra, don't call my phone again, Pascal. Don't call my phone. So, Nonya? Nonya? She hung up on me. Nonya hung up on me. guys you're stephanie right yes i am how may i help you all right we're here for you you're owing us owing you how can i possibly be owing you when i don't even know you okay let me now break it down for your small head when i say you're owing us it means you're owing us strip <laughs> Don't have sex with me. Please. God forbid. I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I would advise you don't make it a rape case, Stephanie. Because if you do, you'll be grooved. But you want to know the difference? You won't live to tell the story. <laughs> I'd rather die than let you have your own with me. I can't. Please. <laughs> You told me we're coming to see your sister for dinner. What's going on? Well, P, about my sister, I lied. But about the special dinner, look at her, P. She's a special dinner. However, she's all yours. For me? Yes, B. You know, your entry into this confraternity, the comments, made it a very feared and dangerous confraternity on this campus. It was a pity that when you graduated three years back, there wasn't any chance for us to show our gratitude, to show appreciation. This it's time for us to show our gratitude. Look at her, Pascal. She's your appreciation. However, she's all yours. Please, Bruce. Please don't listen to them. I beg of you. I mean, just to be married to a guy like you. In a few more time, please. You know I'm engaged too. I can't do this. Pascal. Pascal, look at us. Does it look as if we came here to play? Are we here to play games? I'm not asking you to. I'm giving you a direct order. Let's find out. You're just gonna be dropped dead. Yeah. Undress Pascal and have your appreciation. And you, Stephanie, what are you still doing? I said strip. Are you no, dead? No, no, no. Alright. Brother, she needs help. Help her. 
survived the knife wounds. What? So, Stephanie survived. A nurse friend of mine just called me from the hospital she, she, she's at right now. And they told me she survived and she's given our names to the cops. They have told us to speak now. Ah, uh, Pascal. Pascal, look at us. Do we look like fools to you? You actually stabbed her so that she could survive. You didn't mean to kill that bitch. What is wrong with you, Capone? I've given my life and blood to this confraternity. Are you trying to accuse me? Very well, Pascal. This is your mess. You're gonna clean it up yourself. Well, that's the way it is now. Yeah, that's the way it is. It's my mess now, huh? Yeah. You're planning to deny this? Pascal, you don't think we are fools, do you? I'm giving you time to clean this mess yourself. Because if you don't, we will come after you. Believe me, we are going to wipe your entire family off this earth crust. And that reminds me, not even your fiancé We escape the fire and we start burning. A Ryu will burn like fire. Clean up your mess, Pascal. Boys, let's bounce. Hey, Pascal, I need your son to clean your mess. Pascal! Pascal! You have just 48 hours to clean your mess up. This happened already. Too late for regrets now. Still early yet to reshape my shattered life and plan my future. Fair or foul, my head must stay above waters. But then some people need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> yeah. It's time. Pascal. You're here, Pascal. What was it you said you want to talk about? Spill, let's hear you. It's raining. Yeah, I know. What was it that you told me the last time? Make I use my head. Clean up my mess, she? Eh, nah, nah. I think I found a solution to my problem. Pascal. Pascal. No, no, Pascal. We can, Pascal, we can walk something. We're good to go, Dad. Are you? Yes. What of your wife? <laughs> She's in the living room. I 
I told her to give me a few minutes to have a private word with you. Uh, Paul, talking to me privately oftentimes uh, means you are bringing up difficult issues for discussion. Don't you think this is a very wrong time for any such discussion? No, uh, I think this will rather complete my joy before my honeymoon. Okay, let's hear you. It's been three years, Dad. Three years. Pascal's not been a part of this family. I miss him. I, I know the reason for this owning him is, well, justifiable, but is that enough after three years? That I, I think he, I want my brother back. Please, let him come back home. Paul. Paul. Pascal, your twin brother, is evil. He is evil. A father like me couldn't have ordinarily disowned him. He couldn't have been the best decision to make. But you will agree with me that his misdeeds these three years left me with no choice. Um, I understand your sentiment. He's your twin brother and your only sibling. Yes, I know. But I believe that his absence from this house and even the family business will make no difference. Dad, we can't change him by chasing him away. And, and have you tried to consult you know, something strange about his behavior? It's, 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 it's because he's not gotten over mom's death. The shock still haunts him. It's almost as if mentally he hasn't gotten over it. It's driven him half mad. He needs help. Maybe some kind of therapy or something. But chasing him away is not a solution. That please let him come back home. It's, it's, it's my twin brother. It's my blood. It's, I'm missing. Paul, there is no excuse. Not even one. For a young man like Pascal to rape and murder an innocent girl and went ahead to steal my money to bribe the police to cover him up. I mean, by the way, since he left this house, has he ever gotten in contact with you? Has he ever shown any form of remorse? Have you ever asked yourself these questions? I have for three years, every day. I keep thinking about it. I, I blame myself in a sense as well. Maybe I'm, we're not trying hard enough to change him. Maybe he does really need help. Chasing him away will not change him. It will drive him further down the wrong path. He's, he's, he's going to be you know, all alone out there, frustrated, and he, he will do more terrible things. We need to bring him back home. And I promise you, if you bring him back home, I would do everything in my power to change him and, and you know, bring him back to the ideal son you've always wanted. Just give us all a chance. He has to come back. I'm sure Whitney is behind this, isn't she? There's nothing wrong with my wife wanting her brother-in-law back. She just wants a complete family. At your wedding reception, I handed over my multi-billionaire empire to you. But I found out in the process that what you needed most was having your brother back in this house. Well, I must say that is quite magnanimous of you. I am proud of you that you have shown maturity. I hereby accept your request. Pascal will rejoin us. Having the happiest moments. Yeah, even more happier. Yeah. <laughs> I want to congratulate you for a successful wedding. 
and I want to wish you happy honeymoon while over there, okay? And the good news, I'm expecting it. <laughs> twins there, okay? Always twins. Trust your boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you. Bye, Dad. All right, safe journey. Bye, Drive safely. Okay. Dragged in, eh? Father dearest in all his splendor. <clears throat> Being a bad guest. Oh, host, Dad. Forgive me. I'm a little high. <laughs> um, smoke, drink. Can I interest you in something? No? Oh, you like this. This. Squeeze all your invitations. I forgot. You don't get down like that. Like us lesser mortals. What do you want, Dad? How did you find me, by the way? What much as money can make people shut their mouths? You can also get them talking. Apparently. Well, you pay people, you found me. Now what do you want? I came to see you. Paul. And his wife Whitney send their regards. My twin brother got married. And nobody deemed it necessary to tell me in life a bitch. Pascal, you changed your phone number. And anyway, it was only last week they got wedded. And I had to give them my, my company as a wedding gift. He gave Paul and his wife a black group of companies. I part inheritance entirely to my twin brother. So what the fuck do you want here? Pascal. Back home. Pascal, come back home and be the same nice and gentle Pascal you were when your mother was alive. I remember how close both of you were. Back from your infancy. You were so intimate. That I remembered. But her sudden death threw up everything. Yeah, well, it's a little too late for that now. Don't you think? It's too late for all that moral talk. For three years. Three long, hard years. I scruffled everywhere, living hand to mouth and less than human existence. And I'm supposed to be the son of a fucking billionaire. Pascal, rape and murder are horrible crimes. 
and you added stealing to it. I'm a moralist. I'm not a devil. But I bet you are. Apparently, you've not forgiven me, Dad. Have you? Pascal, come back home. There's nothing to come back to. I'm sure you understand. You know? You never did like me, Dad. Let's face it. Paul was always your favorite son. The apple of your eye. Me? I'm the one that brings embarrassment and shame to the family. Trust me. You're better off without me. Pascal. It might interest you to hear that Paul and Whitney agreed to share the company 50-50 with you, provided you agree to come back home. Yes. Old score card, business card, they say you should call him, he wants to talk to you. Now, when are you coming back home? I'll call you when I'm ready to come home. Kill or rape that girl. At least not of my violation. I was forced to do it at gunpoint. The men that forced me to do it are all dead. I killed every one of them myself. Are you sure you don't want that drink now? I just, oh, just... Go ahead and take yours. I'll take my letter. In my stomach. Ah! Oh. What? It was like somebody steered my inside. Huh? Oh. Are you okay? Oh, God. Oh. What is it? Oh. What is it? Oh. Honey, what is the problem? I don't know. Honey! Oh. Honey, what is it? Jesus Christ, somebody help me. Honey, Jesus Christ. Honey, everybody, please. Honey, my God, somebody help me. Honey, get up. Oh, somebody help me. Help, help, honey, please, honey, please, honey, please. <laughs> Honestly, today is my happiest day in life. Yeah? Thanks for agreeing to come back home at last. Well, thanks for giving me a second chance, Dad. I'm sure Paul and Whitney will be glad to hear this. Let me break the good news to them. Good day, Chief. Yes, how may I help you? I am Sergeant Chris from the Cross River State Police Command. I am sorry. I've come to inform you, sir, that your son, Paul, was found dead in a hotel room. 
eh? Where we believe he went for honeymoon with his wife. My son Paul found dead. Eh? Ah! Dad? Dad! Dad! Dad, help me. Come. This is, no, 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 go and get it. Okay. Get, get, get the drugs from here. Let's take him to the hospital. No, no. Dad, Dad. Hey, listen. Yes, I need you want to do my money for that. I'm confused as well. I don't know how it happened. She was looking very healthy when she left here with the police earlier today. If you ask me, sir, I would say that with the overwhelming evidence against her, she's as good as dead too. The least you can get out of this is life imprisonment. And I guess that still serves your purpose. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay. All right. No more concerns from my part. Maybe tomorrow for your balance. Hmm? Matter of fact, I'll double it. You did a good job. All right. Tomorrow. <laughs> He's right. He's absolutely right. The pushing was his huge success. Now, the demise of my father on hearing the news this afternoon. The circle is finally complete. It is mine. Everything is mine. The houses, the accounts, the companies, everything. The cars! <laughs> I'm a billionaire! I, I'm a billionaire! And I didn't realize it. I was like, oh my god! I am a billionaire! I am a freaking motherfucking billionaire! Does anybody know what that means? Does anybody know what that means? Huh? I'm a billionaire! I am a billionaire! I am a fucking billionaire! That's what I am! A fucking billionaire! I am a billionaire! Um, yes! 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 Yes, the fuck yes! I'm a fucking billionaire! <laughs> I did not do it. I did not poison Paul. They're kissing me wrongly here. Yeah. What reason will I possibly have to poison my own husband two weeks after our wedding? How? That's why I want to find out from you. What was Paul's crime? The only crime Paul committed was falling in love with you, taking care of you, and marrying you. That was what cost him his life. What did my father do that he had to die to? Huh? What? What did you just say? Oh, you don't know. Father died yesterday after he was told what you did to Paul. You have taken everything from me. I have nothing left. Believe me, Pascal. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. What reason would I possibly poison my own husband? That's the reason. This is what you wanted. This is the reason you cost me my life. This is the reason you took everything from me. He made out the life insurance policy in your name, didn't he? That you would get everything in the event of his death. That's why you took my twin brother. So why you take everything? Isn't that what you did? Huh? That policy wasn't meant for me. He made that policy when I told him I was pregnant for him. The bastard you carry in your womb has no place in my family. You quickly got pregnant so you could snare him into an early marriage. Isn't that what you did? You planned it all! I can see your game plan. You 
started with getting my father to disown me so that you and your husband could take everything in Pollock. Yes, you wanted to inherit everything in Pollock Group of Companies. And then when I made a move to come back, you quickly went back to him and made him promise me 50%. Is that what you did? And then when you found that there was no other way for you, you made him take a life insurance policy so that you could kill my brother and take everything. That's what you planned, but it all failed. Look at you now. I don't feel nothing for you. I feel nothing because I've lost everything. You've taken the only people I care about in this world. I don't have blood running in my veins anymore. I'm going to see to it with every resource I have. I'm going to keep you here. Don't even dream of freedom because it will not come. You can cry from now to tomorrow. The only respite you have is if you take your life yourself. Because as long as I live, I'll make sure you don't see the sun. I promise you. Everything you need to know about Bullock Group of Companies is in this file, sir. for my father for over 10 years. Yes, sir. And he trusted you. Yes, sir. I'd like to extend the same trust to you. Because of my circumstances, especially the death of my father and my brother, I cannot participate in active business now. I want you to run the conglomerate, the everyday running of it, until I can return to active business. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, no, 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 there's no problem. Not at all, sir. Leave this file with me. Let me study for a few more days. I will invite you again to talk with you. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. In view of the above stated, the court is convinced beyond any reasonable doubt that a crime was committed. The accused, Mrs. Whitney Paul Oko, is hereby sentenced to life in prison. It is my sincere hope that eventually... Yeah. Grind it to powdery form and give it to her, put it in her food. Sir, are you sure it will not be harmful to her? If I wanted that girl dead, I'll pay you for it. Okay? I'll not lie to you. I'm a street shooter. I'm only interested in terminating that bastard she has in her womb. Trust me, the doctor said that she will not be harmed with that prescription. And I think that's exactly what will happen. Okay, sir. I, I want to be paid up front. Well, money has not ever been my problem. You'll get your money. Just make sure you do your job well. Because that baby is the only link to my family. I don't want that link cut off. I'll put it for you, sir. She does not deserve to be happy ever again for what she did to your family. Well, I'm glad we see things on common ground. Do your job, Colin. And we'll not have problems. I'll get one of the drivers to take you back to Calabar. Okay, sir. Let me get you some money. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Be careful with that.
Hello, sir. It is me, Wadabazi. Sir, it is done. She started bleeding about 15 minutes after eating the food. I personally took her to the hospital where the doctor confirmed that she has lost the baby. Yes, it was a resounding success. I must say I'm highly impressed the way you handled this matter. Very impressed indeed. Thank you so much. Okay, my gratitude knows no bound. Well, she has reasons to be depressed. Well, I'm depressed too. You know, the way she treated my family. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Yes. Yes. <sighs> the ultimate winner. It's still me. It's time to sit back and enjoy everything. My dear Nonya, I'm back. Stop following me around. But I'm not following you around. It's so coincidental. Listen, babes. Let me, let me talk to you. What is wrong? You know how much I love you. Listen, no one will love you the way I love you. Something happened. I had no option. I can't bear the thought of touching another woman, let alone raping. They said if I didn't do it, they were going to either kill you or my family. What was I to do? I had to do it. Pascal, please, I will listen to just about anything but your lies, okay? I'm not lying to you. I love you too much to lie to you. Open your eyes and see what the deal is. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. There can never be an us. What, what, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I'm seeing someone else. Well, I know I've been away for three years, so break up the relationship. Let's pick up where we stopped. It's too late for that, Pascal. I love him. And besides, you already asked for my hand in marriage. Say no to him, and I'll fix our wedding date immediately. No. no that man has you. been nothing but good to me ever since I met him. So why would I do that? Maybe better than me? At least he doesn't have innocent blood on his hands. Your engagement. Have you made it public? Do your people know about it? Well, we're announcing family to our families this weekend. Okay then. If you ever doubt his sincerity, I'll be there for you. Alright? Remember us, Noye? I don't know you. Who, who, who are you? That is to say you have a short memory. More fire! Well, we did not come here to remind you. But to have our sweet revenge. And to turn what's supposed to be your happiest day into your worst nightmare. Brothers, what is going on? Shut the fuck up. Get out. Get out! Give me the ring. Give me! Motherfucker. Go down! More fire. Motherfucker. Sorry, Mr. Godwin. You will have to be the victim of your wife's carelessness. More fire. Noye. 
as we speak two of our guys are still holding your entire family hostage and they will kill all of them if i don't call them in the next five minutes so to tell them you have done as we wanted more fire more fire hello guys give our father the phone confirm what i said from your father have it more fire hello Daddy. give me the phone give me the phone Pick the gun. Pick it up. More fire. Kill him. I I I, I can't kill him. Kill him. No fire. I'll keep both of you and still waste your family, no? Eh? I beg you. Move. Whatever I've done to you, please just forgive me. I Three minutes already gone. <laughs> Remember your father's plea. Please. One minute remaining. No, yeah. <laughs> The gun is empty, no? Eh? <laughs> Kindly drop it down on the bed. <laughs> drop it. More fire. <laughs> Hello, guys. Back down. Yes, she complied. Oh my God, what have you done? Guy, let's go. What have you done? To you. Ah! Noel, you, you have no defense in court because nobody will believe we were here. Oh More God, fire. You wake up. Please wake up. Come in. Come in. Please wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Please go. Please, I was forced to do it at gunpoint. Those devils threatened to kill my family and all my siblings, and even Godwin, if I didn't sh shoot him. You did. Pascal, I had no choice. I'm sure you didn't. These guys, did you see their faces? Know who they are? I've never seen them before in my life. Those men must have come from the pit of hell. They were so mean and evil. Well, apparently you and I have something in common now. We have the blood of innocent people on our hands. Pascal, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you when you needed me most. Now I understand exactly how it feels. No, Pascal, please, I, you need to help me. Please, I don't want to, I don't want to die for this. I, I don't even want anybody to know the truth about what happened. I'm begging them, oh God, please, Pascal. So you want to do what I did? You murdered someone. And you want to be covered up just like that? Please, just help me. Please, please, you, you need to help me. I can't die for this, please. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Please. All right. I will help you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If for nothing, at least to prove to you I still love you. We have to do exactly what I say. Do whatever you need to do. 
You stay in this house till I figure out a plan. Get up. Comets. We bled with fire. I'm impressed. What you did the last time was truly impressive. You're truly comets. More fire. Bro, we know they carry last. See, the money you gave to us was enough for somebody to kill an American president yeah, 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 yeah. without minding the risk involved. For sure. So, what next? Okay, here's what's next. We need to make sure everything is on point. This is like a game of chess, you understand? Right now, she's actually come running to me for help, just like I expected. Just as you wanted? Exactly as I wanted it. Like I said, it's a game of chess. Every move must be anticipated. So we'll bow with our next move. Let's start with the um, securing the murder weapon. Where is it? Or I keep it for the meantime. Now I hope none of you touched it with your bare hands. Yeah? And I take it she didn't see any of your faces. Okay, fine. Fine. I want you to go underground for the meantime. But I want you to come to my house tomorrow. 2 p.m. sharp. I don't know what the next move will be, but I'll think up of something. And I'll call you tonight to initiate you on what it will be. Are we clear? Comet! Blaze with fire. More fire. You need a carry last. What? More fire. Give me a minute. Thank you. Relax. It's whatever you wish. <laughs> Okay, um, let me break it down, okay? Well, according to the private investigator I hired, he said that these were men you used to know back in the day. They're cult members from your former school. Apparently, you were dating one of their leaders, and um, he deceived him into falling in love with you. And he picked a fight with an opposing, you know, rival um, cult member for making advances at you. Right after that, there's a violent clash between the two sides and they lost three members. They've had it in for you ever since. That's not true. Nothing like that ever happened. Remember we were already dating while I was in school. We went to different universities, not you. Anything could have happened in your university. Pascal, don't tell me you believe them. It doesn't matter what I believe. These guys vowed to ruin your life. To the point that they decided to strike at your happiest moment. They've even gone to the police to tell their own version of um, Godwin's murder. And they handed over the murder weapon to him. Oh my god. You mean... I could be arrested for, for Godwin's murder. Listen, you know, I can never let that happen to you. And I love you. You don't have to worry about anything. Okay? To start with, the, mem the policeman that's handling this case have been invited. He's coming over to see me. I'll give him money and he'll turn the case around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you, Pascal. Thank you. You know, I will just take care of you. You know that, right? I'm sorry, Pascal. I, I can't do this. I'm sorry, I can't. Okay. Let me go and get the cook to 
fix something for you. Hmm? Oh, oh. Guys, provided against you are overwhelming. Also, with your fingerprints on the murder weapon, you will have no chance in the case if it goes to court. Even if I have, officer, Godwin's family will kill me in no time. The whole world will hate me. Please, I don't want my name involved in, in, in his murder at all, please. That was what Mr. Pascal told my colleagues and I. It's going to be difficult and expensive. The boys are still out there ready to talk, you know. I'm um, officer, that's the uh, part of the deal I'm putting to you. I want those boys eliminated. Every one of them. Yeah? In that case, sir, our fee is three million naira cash. Three million what? For what? That that's Let's look at it. You get your money. But first I want the murder weapon, then the boys eliminated. It's the only way we can bring a closure to this case. Pascal, what do you need the murder weapon for? To destroy it myself. We can't leave anything to chance. Do you? The mother will pawn is here if you want it. Okay. Fulfill your part of the bargain and you get your money full. Well, we will do all you want, but don't play pranks with us, Mr. Pascal. I'm a man of my word. You should know that by now. Thank you. Officer, is the case taken care of? All right then. Meet me in my office tomorrow and I'll take care of you. Good. It's done. Are you serious? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. Oh my God, thank you very much. God bless you. That means I'm free. Oh my God, I need to call my parents. Before you call your parents, I have a surprise for you. What surprise? This. It's beautiful, isn't it? Marry me. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. Look, Pascal, I told you even before Godwin died that there can never be an us again. I mean, what kind of marriage do you think we're going to have given all the things we both know about each other? It's going to be a very horribly shallow one and that is not my dream for a marriage, Pascal. Look, before you even brought this up, I was going to tell you that I'm going back to my parents' house tomorrow. I mean, I've been in this house for three good weeks and I still don't feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. It doesn't feel right. I'm sorry, can't walk. I, I need to. Before you go to your parents' house, maybe you should recall that I still have um, the murder weapon. I can call the police up anytime to open this case again. Pascal, are you trying to blackmail me into marrying you? Pascal, you can't do that. I saved you. I literally saved the rest, you stupid, selfish bitch. The least you can do is show a little gratitude. And you know me better than that. I don't fuck around. Is it a yes or a no? Pascal, please. Either way, I will get what I want. Pascal, please. Yes or no? Welcome to my paradise again. Why are you not happy? It's supposed to be your happiest day. Smile a little. Smile. On a wedding day I never wish to be. Smile with all the ridiculous, terrible names people are calling me all over the place. 
What's funny about a lady being forced by her ex-boyfriend to marry him just a few weeks after her fiancé was murdered in cold blood? Pascal, of what use is the favor that you did for me? People are already thinking that I have a hand in Godwin's murder anyways. People. It's always about people. People are entitled to their opinion, you know. But this matters between you and I. And people's opinion don't count. It's just you and I. The important thing is that you're destined to be where you're supposed to be in my life. Pascal, this marriage is not real. I can feel it from the depth of my soul. It's going to be very, very hard for me to ever believe in it. Maybe if you stop being so pessimistic, I could show you how to enjoy this marriage. Even believe in it. How in the world do you intend to do that, Pascal? How? I think the baby's coming. No, no, um, I sent the maid to the market. No, don't worry, I, I can manage. Just hurry up and come back, please. Yeah, thank you. All right, no problem.
baby. Come on, come on. Are you scared? What are you doing with the briefcase? Pascal. Is that the engagement ring God will give to me? Oh my God. Pascal, how did you get it? Pascal. You killed Godwin. You need to get you to the hospital. Get him, get your hands off me! Get him! Get your hands off me! Get him! Get him! Get him! Anymore, she has to last. Nurse, go and get Johnny. What took you so long now? Nonya? Nonya? Doctor, why are you shaking your head? Doctor, huh? yeah. Doctor, check her first now. She's not she's not talking. She looks. Right. Thank you. Where's Dr. Francis? We're still busy inside. And tell me, Mr. Pascal, what exactly did you say happened to her? We've been through this many times. We're on our way to the hospital. We're practicing the breathing exercise we learned from prenatal. And the next thing, she collapsed. That's when he, he ran into the scene. That's Dr. Francis. Is my wife okay? Mr. Pascal. I'm sorry to tell you that your wife is clinically dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. The only chance we have of saving the baby in her womb is to perform a caesarean. If we stay and waste more time here, the baby will die too. We need your consent. Doctor, save my baby. That's all I have now. Save my baby, please. Okay. Come with me. You sign some papers. Thank you so much for everything you did for my daughter. I You're appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. I'm worried how you cope with her in the absence of your... My wife? Yes. Well, the lady you saw outside is um, a trained professional midwife. She was hired especially for that regard. Very good. Once again, I'm sorry for the death of your wife. You've not actually told me the name you gave to your daughter. Oh, oh, oh. Her name is Harriet. Oh, what a nice name you have there. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah. I was waiting for you to come out. Um, I'm going to send somebody with just a little thing as a token of my appreciation to your office tomorrow. Thank you so much. I'll see you. Okay. Don't forget to collect the drugs from there. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. Bye.
and we were visiting. We were all missing you. So oh. we decided to come and spend the weekend with you. Oh my god, this makes me feel very special. You mean my dad and my adorable stepmother with this little one sibling of mine could not stay without seeing me just after three weeks of me leaving the house? So sweet. I miss all of you too. <laughs> Actually, the minute I left the house, I felt like coming back. Come in, come in. <laughs> sit down. This seat is especially for you. Thank you. Dad, you can sit there. I'm <laughs> jealous. Come on, someone is jealous. <laughs> Let him be. Let him be. Oh, how is school? School is fine. It's just hectic. Especially for us medical students. It's not easy. I can imagine. Huh. I can imagine. You know what, Harriet? <laughs> what? I prepared stew and two different kinds of soup just for you. Oh my god! Then the of the car. Oh no, I can't wait to get it. Please get my luggage too. Okay. Thank you. Darling, she's such a lovely and adorable girl. Little wonder your world literally revolves around her. Yes, she has so far met all my expectations. Of course, for the moment, I have no other except her to call my child. I just want to get a bully hit guy. Father! Let me first of all apologize for not informing you guys properly before fixing this meeting for the leaders of Comets Confraternity. It's about my daughter, Harriet. Right from the day she entered this university four years ago, I handed her over to Comets for protection. So I've come to know how you guys are doing. So far, so good, Father. Since we intimidated the last guy out of her life, she has been more of a loner on campus. Except for her friend, Quinnet, who still sticks to her. That is good. Have you fine-tuned your operating strategy as I instructed? It took my meeting the last guy in her life in person before he got the message and backed off. No one should identify me publicly with you guys. It's wrong. The house is in order, Father. But we're having problems with the anti-cult marshals on campus. The odd thing is that for the past three weeks, they've been targeting only on our guys. So far, Father, one of our members have been expelled and three are yet to face panel with the same outcome. And my guys are just- Morgan! When Kelly, my current driver and bodyguard was in charge in this school, a thing like this never happened. It was then effective. That was how Comet Confraternity became the strongest in this campus. Be decisive. Put the fear of you in every soul. Enemies and folks alike. That is the spirit. That is how to do it. Article 3 of our code of honor. Take the word to your enemy in every situation. Make it ruthless, ferocious and decisive. For the best way to defend is nothing but attack. That is it! That is it! Take the war to the anti-court marshals. Let their leadership be at the brunt. It must be ruthless, ferocious, and decisive. I want to hear the news in days, not in weeks. 
comets. It happened last Thursday. No one knew what caused it. But about 15 prisoners I was guarding during a community work got into a free for all fight. I went to restore peace, but one of them thrust his fingers into my eyes and another hit me with an object. While I was crying for help, with my eyes bleeding, all of them escaped. Three days ago, the doctor confirmed me completely blind. <laughs> As if that was not tragic enough, the prison authority accused me of complicity in the escape of the prisoners and gave me a sack letter yesterday. When I told your mother, Instead of sympathizing with me, she packed her things and left the house. Till now, I have not heard from her. That is why I sent for both of you. Did she contact any of you? Uh, no, Papa. No. I mean, this is the first time we're hearing this. Dad, you should have told us before now. At least would have prevailed on mom not to do what she did. <laughs> Abe, my son. Your mother that I listened to when she was living here. Not even the presence of both of you crying at her feet will have stopped her. She had obviously made up her mind to leave and was just looking for the opportunity. Unfortunately, she got it. This is not an opportunity. This, this is a tragedy to our family. I mean, how are we going to cope? How are we going to cope with this, Papa? How? That is why I have sent for both of you. I was sacked without benefits. With my condition like this, there's nothing I can do for both of you, or even for myself. It's like our world has just crumbled. I'm afraid both of you will have to drop from the university. What? That's the truth, and that's the situation. God, why? Why? Why my family? Why, Papa? Why in my final year? What is our sin, God? I mean, how can I drop out of school? After all Papa's sacrifices and efforts, Dad was right. Our world has tumbled. And the only viable option is dropping out from school. She won't drop out. Brother, I will drop for you. I mean, don't be stupid. I am your elder brother. And the first son in this family. Mama's irresponsibility and Papa's incapacitation means I'm now in charge. And being in charge means taking hard decisions. And taking hard responsibilities too. You two are now my burden. I will carry alone. 
Abbé. You go back to school while I drop out. My dropping out in second year is a minor inconvenience. But you dropping out in your final year is a double tragedy for the family. No matter what, you must graduate. You must. The future survivor of this family lies in your hand. That's right. That is it. I overheard what you were saying from this side. Justice, my son. Abe is right. Go back to school. Do whatever that is possible to complete your program there. It is important. But how do I do that? Well, just tell me, how do I do that? Our first semester exams are just around the corner. My school fee is not yet paid. How do I go back to school with no pocket money? No family savings? Tell me, Papa, how? Am I going to go back to school with my bare hands? Justice, my son. I'm confused as well. But as I told you earlier, do whatever that is possible to complete your program there. You are now a man. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Well, what are you sorry for? Is it a crime for a man to express his emotion? Look, it's not what you think. I am not thinking anything. I'm just curious. You're sitting out here crying all by yourself. What could be wrong? You cannot help me, please. Who is talking about helping you? Haven't you heard that a problem shared is a problem half solved? Come on, confide in me. Look, just leave me alone now. You don't know me. Just go. I don't know you, but I want to know you. Why don't you just allow me? <sighs> okay. It's not like as if I, if I tell you now, anything will change. But I'll tell you all the same. <sighs> My name is Justice. I'm a final year student of this faculty. <laughs> I just got evicted from the examination hall because I didn't pay my school fees. A horrible incident caused my father to be blind a few weeks back. And as it is, there is no hope presently of getting money anywhere. Now, this is my final year. If I don't write this exam, it will mean I'll stay in this school one more year. And that will be another tragedy for my family. You said you really want to write these exams, right? Of course I want to write the exams, but why are you asking me this question? Who are you? I am Harriet. I'm a final year medical student. So if you want to write these exams, come with me to the bank so you pay your fees, get your tailor and present it on time for your exams. Haven't you been listening to me? I said I don't have money. You've said that like a thousand and one times. You don't have time. Time is taken. Let's go to the bank.
trust this. How, how did you find my house? Well, I asked around. I couldn't do anything else after the exam but to come here and express my profound gratitude to you. Please. Seriously, I owe you my whole life. Thank you. Uh, no, 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 no. Just, just get up, get up. Don't do that. Please stand up. Sit down. Listen, I did not do what I did. So you go thinking that you're indebted to me or anything like that. It's just my nature. I'm just charitable, that's all. So how are you? Fine. And how was the exams? Uh, I did well. Good. That's all that is important. And that's the best thank you you can ever give to me. Okay? Good. I never knew your kind of people still exist. I called my father and my brother on my way here and they expressed their gratitude and they give you their blessings too. It's alright, thank you. Do you still have money to see you through the semester? There's no... Hey, your guys on God today! I'm telling you! Hey! God! I know you have sounded crazy before, fine. But not this crazy. I mean, what do you mean it's all God? Man, dude, your guy saw God today. I saw God in a lady today, today, today. Justice, I remember vividly that you left this room this morning in tears. Yes. Not sure whether the school authority will allow you to sit for your exams. Why? Payment fee default. You don't have money. Of course. Are you not telling me that you abandoned such a monumental problem and go hunting for girlfriend? Man. No, because it just sounded like as if you are falling in love. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, forget about that one. Yes, I know I left here in tears. I know my school fees weren't paid. But you know what? I wrote my exams today and I am 10,000 naira richer. <laughs> just, just, Justice, you went stealing. Man, God forbid, stop it now. You know me now. You so know how do you get that money? Man, why would I steal? What's your problem? How did you get that My money? guy, relax. I'm telling you. Relax. I said, God sent a girl to put a smile on my face today. And my guy, see this girl paid for my school fees. Ah! Give me this 10,000 naira. Free of charge. No refund, though. No refund. My guy! <laughs> I'm telling you. She gets to start. Where I start from there? What's the worry? No go do beer. Beg. No go do beer. No go do beer. Wait, 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 wait. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Where we trying to beer? You know I don't drink now. Look, you see this money? It's till the end of the semester. This will last me till the end of the semester. Do you understand me? So if you know right now you are not going with me to take Aka and Yam, forget about it. If you are game, you follow me now. If not, forget about it. I'm going to say now they broke. My guy, come on. I'm going to say now they broke. I'm going to say never chop. Come on. I'm going to say now they broke. Okay. Hey, thank you. Now, sit down. How has it been with you? Uh, uh, fine, fine, fine. I just actually finished one of my exams right now. And uh, the last one will be in three days. What about you? I'm actually, I'm just about writing one. And I'm finishing in three days as well. Are you serious? Seriously. All right. Well, in that case, let me leave you to concentrate on your exams. Huh? Um, please, uh, I just have to thank you for your kindness the other day. Thank you so much. It really meant a lot to me. <laughs> justice, justice, please. Okay, now you have to promise me that you will stop talking about this each time we meet. But I'm not an ingrate now. I did not say you were one, did I? Look, there are certain things that I need to talk to you about. Charity. But that will be after my exams. I've got some dirty clothes in my car which I need to take to the dry cleaners. And then um, I need to drop off this car at the mechanics. I will call you so we can talk. 
after I'm done with everything I have to do. Wait, wait, excuse me. Did you just say dirty clothes? Yes. Uh, there's no problem now. Let me, you know, take the dirty clothes to the dry cleaners myself. Then when they're done, I'll bring them to your house. Wow, that would be such a relief. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, come, let me give it to you. Hold on, I need to give you some money so you can... Could you hold on to this? No problem. Uh, give this to the dry cleaner. Okay. Okay? Thank right. you very much. Okay, you're welcome. I appreciate it. So Anytime. I'll see you when I'm done with everything right. that I have to do. Okay. Take care, right? All right. No problem. Okay, pick two. Two. Uh -huh. Last card. Come on, go. And check. Just this. Good afternoon, Harriet. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You brought my clothes? Why did you put them in the bag? Wouldn't they get squeezed? No, I carefully folded them myself. Um, what's the money for? Uh, well, that's the money you gave me to pay the dry cleaners. But um, there was no need for that. I washed the clothes myself. You, you washed my clothes? Yes. Who is he, Harriet? A friend. Um, <clears throat> please, um, Harriet, don't misunderstand me. You know, after our exams, we'll be going back to our various homes you know, for the mid-session break. So I need something special to remember you with. You're a special person to me. I just need something I can show my family when talking about you. So, what do you want from me? A photograph. My photograph? Yes, if you don't mind. Okay. Sit down. I have mine. Nice. Sit down. And they said you went to the clinic for antenatal. Yes, I did. I just got back. Oh, how have you been? Fine. How was your exams? Well, it was fine. We thank God. Okay. Mm. Oh. Nice pictures. Who is he? 
as a friend. A friend? He looks quite handsome and gentle too. Any relationship? <laughs> no, no. Of course not. Of course not. There's nothing like that. Why? Don't you like him or hasn't he asked? Auntie, our relationship is a peculiar one. And even if there was anything other than that, I mean, I just will not accept any man into my life right now. Please don't say that. You are a grown-up woman and you need a man in your life. I know. I know, but what's the use? When every man who comes into my life just walks away without any explanation. I can't allow that to happen to me ever again. I do understand. I really do. See, I want you to know that none of those men left your life because you were at fault. Although they did not say why they left. Every single person in this life has certain things going on for them easy. Some don't. Those things that don't go easy, do you know what you do? You pursue them. You try to get them. You don't stop. Because the day you stop, that's the day you stop living. Life, my dear sweetheart, is a struggle. I don't want you to ever give up. Uh, uh, Auntie, good morning. Good morning, Harriet. How was your night? It was nice. And yours? Very well, too. Thank you. There's no need to feel embarrassed. I understand. <laughs> See you at breakfast. Room. Honey, that girl is going through some serious psychological stress. How do you mean? Is my daughter in trouble? She's in love again. And the fear that this guy might leave the way the others did is really devastating her. I think she needs an expert's counseling. You're a woman like her, and both of you are white clothes. Mm -hmm. Why not cancel her yourself? Oh. Trust me, this one is way beyond what a lay person like me can handle. I'll suggest two things, though. It's either she sees a psychologist now, or we pray seriously hard for the next relationship to work. Otherwise, She's going to develop this low self-esteem about herself towards men. So much that you'll be afraid and ashamed to call her your daughter. Did she tell you anything about the new guy? No, not really. But I saw some pictures of him in her room. He was quite handsome and gentle too. He looked like a natural match for her. I'll let you see the pictures later in the day, okay? Yes, come in. Just this hey. Oh, I missed you. I missed you too. You missed me, right? Of course. I mean, you know what? My father and my brother just kept talking about you. They can't wait to see you. They were talking about you as if they've known you for ages. Wow, yes. that's interesting. So how were they when you left? Oh, they are very fine because of you. Very fine. Oh, very so good to know. I can see you just got back. Yes. I came back not too long ago. Okay. I was actually on my way to a fast food to have my lunch. Uh -huh. But then I thought, why don't I stop by and check up on you and see if you were back? All right. I think we should go together. Do you mind? Ah, uh, no, not at all, not at all. But uh, I bought you something. I bought you, you know, these, you know, the coconuts. Are you serious? And the I like yes. this. 
You do? Of course. Good, good, it's my favorite. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just keep them. Let's go and eat something. When I come back, I can pick them. Alright. Okay? okay? Alright. Nice shoes. Thank you. <laughs> I see. So, so, so good to have you. Yes. What is the meaning of this rubbish? Who is this idiot? And how did you allow him into my daughter's life? Father, I don't think they have any relationship, Father. I know that comments. Have our eyes on her, as you instructed. I don't want to know what you feel and what you want to do. What I want is this. Make this idiot a comet by all means. I will tell you why later. We'll do as you wish, Father. Um, Father, with all the respect, your wish is our command. I promise we handle this shit. <laughs> my guy is not a laughing matter. Look, in my four years of study in this school, I have never come close to a cold killing like that. Hey, my guy, I run like one Olympic sprinter. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? So in the presence of a lady, what do you mean before the lady? So I won't run because the lady is there. I beg, I beg, I beg. That is not a respect of gender. <laughs> she ran with me one time. You know, I really wonder how much respect you still have for you after that shit. Though that's by the way, let's change this topic. There is this cosmate of mine, well loaded, a big boy, too much money, okay? He's throwing a birthday party tonight. Strictly for guys. So I want you to come with me. Let the party. Yeah. Strictly for guys. Mm -hmm. Is he gay? Which can't insult with that one now? Which one be gay? The guy wants something unique for big boys. Huh? I want you to come with me. Are you coming or not? You know me, I don't like going to parties. Uh, but. Well, uh, it's still early, you know, and nothing is happening in the school academically for now. So, um, I'll, I'll follow you. I'll follow you. <laughs> but how I wish it was open to couples, you know, I would have invited Harriet. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Some justice. I don't believe this. Are you the one talking or something else talking from you? Look at you talking about bringing a lady to a birthday party. After four good years, four freaking years of acting up as a saint in this school. Ah, okay la. So you have finally decided to join the... Uh, Congrats, uh, man! Uh, yeah, stop it, stop it, stop it. Congrats, man, no, guys! No, 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 look. Harriet is not my friend in that manner, do you understand me? Because she's more like a sister to me. And I cannot abuse our friendship by... Do not do hey, 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 there you go again. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, better this way, you don't spoil it now. I beg, give me a break. I need to take some nap. Look, I've told you, it's not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's bad. I beg, my yeah, what? You brought you to this school to read, not, not, not to see. Better this way, you don't spoil it. Okay, do your own there. Yeah. Yeah. My own. Yeah. Guys, I agree to. My guy, what's up, though? Man, what's up now? What's up with the music, man? No, what's up? What's up now? What's up with the groove? Besides, don't you think this light is too much for a barbecue? My mm -hmm. Lord Capone. Fellow comments, I present to you my roommate, good friend of mine. His name is Justice. Chiki. Chiki. Um, 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 please. 
Whatever it is you people are doing here, I am not interested. Eh? Please, please, I, let me just shut up. Ha. Prepare him for the initiation. Ah, um, please, please, my brother. Look, I am an SU member, Scripture Union in this university. Shut up, Justice. If you like, be a Jehovah Witness. Huh. We don't care. Please. Please, please, I, I beg you, I'm not in I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be What have I done to you, eh? Don't you tell me, what have I done to you to deserve this? You're still smoking. You're smoking, Chidi. Look, I, I can struggle you now. You're, you're dead. You don't, don't dream of this. What's your problem? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Show me the shedding. Your dirty blood, you coward. Yes, yes, yes. This time is still good. You are now a comet, right? And there is this one rule binding all of us, no matter how you became one of us. Any question asked by anyone concerning the comet's confrontality must be answered with an intimidating and definite silence. Hope my message is crystal clear. Yes, yes, yes. Hey! Have you forgot? Jesus! Justice! What is this? Who did this to you? Justice, talk to me. What is it? Hey! Are you blind? Can't you see he's not in the mood to talk? Excuse me? No, obviously you are not talking to me. Maybe you're referring to some other person in this room, but not me. Do you know who I am or what I am to him? Oh, Your Excellency, I'm shivering. I don't give a heck who you are or where you're coming from, right? But I want you to know that you are constituting nuisance in my room and I don't like it, so bounce. Get out! Justice, please do not tell me that this hoodlum sitting here has a hand in this. Because I will make sure that he spends the rest of his life in jail explaining what he did to you. Look, Harriet, he is my roommate and he's my friend. Please, stop calling him names. He deserves worse than that, for Christ's sake. How could, he, how could a human being do this to you? I'm not in the mood for this, okay? If you have respect for my life, please just go. Justice, I'm losing it. Go now. Go, go. Go. Go, go now, you go. Go, go, go. Go! You're happy now, right? You're, you're, you're very happy. Must you talk? Must you talk? My, my God will still punish you. We will punish you and all, all those your colleagues, all those wicked colleagues of yours. My God will punish all of you. You have not a member of Secret Court to have told you now. God, I can't take this. Whatever Chidi's excuse for doing this to me, I will not take it. What will I gain from becoming a cultist less than five months before I graduate from this university? There is definitely more to this than meets the eye. The comets have an ulterior motive for forcing me into becoming one of them. That I can feel right inside of me. Whatever it is, I'm not going to allow them succeed with me. No, not when it involves treating Harriet the way I have been treating her for days now. I am not an ingrate. Neither am I a criminal. You met the wrong guy. I'm quitting. I'm quitting for the sake of my family and Harriet. Yes, I have to.